All right, well, that uh, idea about using the carbon fiber brushes was really successful, and uh, that uh, turned out to be a real good idea, and it worked really good on this, uh, this one here. But I decided what I wanted to do was make a, a smaller um, version of it. So I made this one here. It has more segments on the rotor, and it's um, motorized. And I'm running it with a AA battery, and I have a little tiny uh, laden jar here with a little tiny spark gap and uh, an electroscope so you can see it charge up and discharge with those little uh, leaves opening up. And I put a rheostat on it uh, to control the wire-wound rheostat to control the flow out of the battery. And this is just a little uh, permanent magnet motor that uh, works off a AA battery. And it works pretty good. Let's show you how it works here. It's in the thousands of volts. Um, you can see the thing charge up and discharge with this electroscope here. And what I'm having a problem with right now is um, it, it arcs within itself here. And you have to have these uh, spacings and gaps such that you don't have internal arcing. And the reason that the spark gap is so small on this is the um, spark is actually jumping across here much of the time. You see as this thing opens up and snaps shut, uh, there's a spark that's going on uh, in here. And uh, part of the time it goes off here and part of the time it doesn't. But this little thing here will run all my motors and uh, all the other things that I've built uh, that work off an electrostatic motor um, or generator. Uh, this uh, little uh, motorized generator worked quite nicely and there's very little wear uh, happening with these uh, carbon fiber brushes. So I'm going to call this a real success using the carbon fiber on the brushes of an electrostatic generator. Thanks for watching.